It's my firm belief that Stuart Dew's days at the Gold Coast Suns are numbered and in fact he could be gone as early as by the end of this month. And my equally firm view is that Damien Hardwick will ultimately be the coach of the Gold Coast Suns. So I've said time and time again, Stewie's our coach, contracted for this year and next year, does a good job, he'll be contracted well into the future. I have never, ever, have never bought into comments about other people. I've got a coach, this club's got a coach. We're in a performance industry and I'll get on with my job because I love it. He's edgy in his seat again, Stuart Jew, sixth season as coach. Nine goals to one in the third term. This is a complete domination. They've passed them, haven't they? Can't blame the third quarter on commentary during the week. We're a young group and these are experiences, although painful, we'll take a fair bit from it. They were too good for longer. We weren't hard enough for longer and we just got to lead, lead really well, lead strongly. The players keep their mind on the job, keep them focused. A significant week for the Gold Coast Suns. Hello everyone and welcome to Footy Classified. Plenty to get to, so let's get straight into it. Our award-winning panel has assembled. Caroline Wilson, the veteran journalist. Sam. Caro, welcome to you. The 300-game champion from Port Adelaide, Kane Corns. Cornsy, great to see you. And the five-time All-Australian from the Bombers, Thanks, Matthew Thank Lloyd. You. Lordy, looking forward to your comments tonight. But Caro, let's start from you. What a week it's been and you lit the fuse here one week ago. In the seven days, it's ensued. What, what have you gleaned from the situation developing on the Gold Coast? Well, I certainly don't think the result on Saturday night had any real bearing. I don't think it changed the situation. I thought, you know, Gold Coast had a crack against one of the best two teams in the competition away from home, but in the end were nowhere near them. And that, that, I don't, that didn't surprise me. But I, I think that um, I spoke last week about the relationships not being as good as they could have been between the coach and senior people at the footy club and nothing I've seen in the last week has changed that opinion. In fact, I think there are more relationships that have soured a little than I actually realised, Sam, when I reported what I reported last Monday night. Right, so, so the, the amount of noise that you've heard in regards to your story and, and the outbreak of that, you actually think the situation? I think there's worse. been a loss of faith to a degree in Stuart Jew from more senior people at, at the club than I had realised and a bit vice versa. Lordy, you made a fascinating comment both Monday and Wednesday about, you use that T word, trust, you know, whether it could have impacted trust at football department level. Mark Robinson um, in the Herald Sun during the week, uh, there was a, a fascinating part of his, his likes and dislikes. And, and there it is at the top there. There's a rat in the ranks at the Suns and this, spoke, this person spoke out of term. On a day of heavy meetings last Tuesday, this person put up his hand and said it was him. I mean, we were talking about a rat in the ranks, Caro, which speaks a little bit to what Lordy was talking about, whether there could be um, a falling out of trust. That was a direct reference to your column. What do you make of yeah, that? Well, somebody may well have put their hands up, but I, I just think it's too simple to simplify it as a rat in the ranks. And I think um, Mark also said in his column that big mouths at the club talking to journalists. I mean, that's how journalists break stories. I mean, was Glenn Archer a big mouth at North Melbourne when he potentially spoke to Mark Robinson about Brad Scott's departure? I think that's how we do our jobs. So yep. I think so big I'll, mouths yeah. and a rat in the ranks. And it's also simplifying it, Matthew, because I spoke to quite a few people mm. before I reported what I did on Footy Classified. And the, if there was detail I gave that has been squared back to one person, then that would be a really inaccurate assessment because it came from all over, from far lower down in the footy club than people might think and from far higher up outside the footy club. I mean, you don't just go with what you've got, things like that. Mm. And I, I don't have a vendetta about, against Stuart Jew, and I'm sorry that, you know, he's clearly very upset and I don't blame him, but that's the job. It's tough. Senior coaching is and, tough. And, and you've done a great job, Caro, in that sense. I don't think... I'm not questioning you at all, but I, I think there's... I, I agree that there are big mouths at the Gold Coast Suns and there are rats in the ranks if countless people are talking. But that, and that's nothing against you. You've so you think they shouldn't be talking to, oh, to, yeah, to journalists? If, if you're a strong club and you're a strong that club... That doesn't happen? No, that just doesn't happen. I know it's happened for... Decades and decades at clubs, and that's how things get out. But this isn't the first club for this to happen. But strong it happens, clubs, it happens every I know it year. does, but that isn't to say it's right. Those people who have do speak have let down their coach Stuart Jew in this situation. Do you think it's all been lumped on Stuart Jew, Caro? Do you, do you think the club is a mess as a whole? Because that's what it seems like to well, me. Has he has he been well, sat? So what do you think they're a mess? Well, has he been sat down and been given that information that Caroline Wilson detailed for us? 
on Classified last Monday night. He, he seemed oblivious to that, that they were concerned about his preparation, that they were concerned about game I don't know if he was plan. oblivious to that. I don't know if he was oblivious to that. He certainly said he hadn't been given any indication that his job might be in jeopardy, which I, you know, still believe. That Do you think the club's a mess though? Year. Like we, we've been concerned about them for I, so I th long. I think. I think. And it's you know, all back on Stewie Yu again. No, well, it, but it, how often does a coach? Pay I know, the but price? when you look at the mismanagement of that the price. we spoke about yep. last week, there's I, so many mistakes that they've think, made. I don't think in recent it's embarrassing. years the, the club's the been had an embarrassing week. I don't think in recent years the mismanagement has been that bad. Yes, there have been ugly exits. And they go... You go back to Lynch They gave mate. away pick I seven mean, and bows last year, Carol, yeah, and, for, and, for nothing. And here's the list of of stars, really, well, some of them stars, that have left Cornsy. I mean, when, when a group le loses the magnitude and the calibre of these sort of players, it's always going to hurt them, but p particularly... One based on the Gold Coast. Yeah. Well, well, the top, the top few were sort of long gone, or, or were sort of on the way out by the time Stuart Dew got there. But I don't think some of them were treated all that well by Stuart Dew so, in the manner they left. And I think others were pretty much not frozen out by the coach, but have been written off a bit by the coach and have gone on to have far more successful careers elsewhere. We saw one of them at full forward for Essendon on Sunday. It, it's okay for us to look back, but Caro, one of the points that you were strongest on last week, with the, the club was worried about the future few years, particularly the likes of King and Lukosius, who are uh, restricted yep. free agents at the end of next year, and that they were worried... Anderson's another one. Anderson around yeah. a, couple of, yep. a couple of years behind. One There's year. Ben King, who, who got subbed out after a really tough game on the weekend. But you seem to imply that there was a concern at club level that they just couldn't sit back and, and not instigate change with the risk of players like that league. at the club... And obviously at the AFL, although, you know, believe me, this is not just AFL-driven, that the bleeding has to be stemmed. That there's great young talent again coming into the club next year from the academy. And the club need a strong, authoritative front man who can come in the way Brad Scott has at Essendon with no other real changes around him, really. I know there's a new CEO and president, but we'll get in to terms that, yeah. of footy. I, I, I just think that is the way they feel. Who's I'm not they? Gonna... The AFL believe that Stewie's not the right man, is that your... Oh, I think the AFL have had doubts about Stuart Jew for a long time, and I think the Sun stuck by him last year when several at the AFL were thinking Alistair Clarkson was the answer. And how are much you, of a are you surprised say, by that? Well, how much of a say should they have? Well, really? they, they, they started the club. I know they started the club, they, but they're they not They financially there. back it. They are not there on a day-to-day -day basis. Is not an, this is not driven by the AFL, what I've been talking about, but I do know the AFL believe, a lot of senior people at the AFL believe that there should be a change. And I know you said beware, you know, be careful what you wish for, and mm. Lee Matthews gives stats about premiership coaches going elsewhere, but... I think Damien Hardwick is a very different prospect to Alistair Clarkson, for example. Provided he's in the right mindset and well, he's not burnt out like he was four weeks ago. Yeah, I, I, I think that he just left at the right time. You mentioned the time frame they had to part. around Stewie Dew and perhaps by the end of this month. Has your story, do you think, delayed that time frame? It could. And, it you, could. and you still believe Damien Hardwick will be the coach? That's, that's you know, my... Uh, uh, Mark Evans is right when he says he has never engaged on other names. But that's the way I think it's going. I might be proven wrong. I might be making a big apology at the end of the year if Stuart Jew is coaching next year, but I firmly believe that it, that won't happen. Mark evans Lordy also said last week, judge us on our results. And the third quarter, we were judging them. Nine goals to one, it was an obliteration. Yeah, they were, had a fantastic first half. They responded really, really well. But what you don't want to do... Most teams will go there and lose to Port Adelaide, but don't, what you don't want to do is concede nine goals in a quarter, and that's what's the most disappointing thing, that they just fell away. They played for two quarters, had a good last quarter, but then just disappeared. So nine goals to one. Um, yeah, that, that was the most disappointing part. So now they play teams around them. So they've been beaten by Collingwood, belted by Collingwood, belt, belted by Port Adelaide. They play St Kilda at home this week and then have teams around them. So that'll be the true test for whether this side can push to challenge for the finals this year. Yeah.